What is the crack, lads, and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at eight overpowered cheap center backs in Dream Team. This has been a huge request on the channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're jumping straight in, and we're also going to be heading over to eFootballDB.com to have a look at that website as well. So Joaquin is the first player that we're going to take a look at. 7,500 GP, very, very cheap, 190 CM, and he's got a lot of stats. I mean, the one that sticks out to me here is the defensive engagement, 77. Uh, that's probably the big one. He's going to be your main kind of defensive, defense-dominated, like in the air kind of guy. Now, the stats on this, the player uh, stats and the overall rating from their base level, so level 70, is accurate and reflected as it is in Dream Team. But this player level bar still needs a little bit of an update because obviously you can upgrade your players uniquely with the level training in Dream Team at the moment. So next up, IR from Brentford. This guy is an absolute unit. 196 M, 74 speed, along with 72 defensive engagement and 72 physical contact. This guy is 196, he's got speeding bullet, long ball expert, and he can play right back and has early crosser with the AI playing style. So, I mean, this guy is an absolute unit. I think if you're struggling to kind of like get balls out of the air and not be able to control them and just need to hoof it every now and again, this is the guy for you. So if you go over here and you just flip the card, which is a unique feature on eFootballDB, you can check all his stats here on the back. You can also check when we do this player level or when the player level gets upgraded that will be accurately reflected that when you upgrade your player, you know, uniquely, you can pretty much simulate it within eFootball DB. So that's going to be coming in a future update as well. Um, but yeah, that's just a base level. If you were to just level his base stats up as they are. Next up, we have got Murillo. So this guy, again, I've always talked about, and I've always said it in any of my videos that I do, you need to have two styles of center back there's no point having two big tall bulky center halves because you need a bit of like mobility and speed there there's no point having two smaller speedy guys because you need that physical presence for the long ball and for high balls and headers because stunning cross is so op at the moment that guy is a good option for that just to have a smaller player and then you've got sutar who's 9000 gp the two of them kind of link in together i think if you're looking for a budget back line this guy is even taller than Iyer. he's 198 and he's just an absolute rock in the air he's uh he's got two versions of him in the game as well which we'll see in a second but long ball expert blocker aerial superiority and fighting spirit at this height this guy is not going to be getting beaten in the air too often to be honest um, and for 9,000 GP, you can't go wrong. And these are the kind of the guys that you're going to be looking out for. Now, there's two versions of him in the game. He is Australian, so there's one with Stoke, and then there's one with the Australian team. Again, the player level system here, this is just a base guide. It's not 100% accurate, because you might decide that you want to pump up his speed maximum, so the speed is going to be different than what it is here in this rating. But just to give you a quick look at the, at the way Football DB works, um, and that you can kind of have different different options and stuff on it. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. Now next up, this man needs no introduction, right? Now we're going to show you kind of one of the one of the best things with eFootballDB in a sec because we're going to be comparing him against a top class defender. But Timber is 18,000 GP. I think this guy is in the running for probably the most OP defender of the game so far. Look at his stats. I mean, he's mid to low 70s on everything, really. Tackling 70, aggression 75, 77 speed and 74 acceleration. All the player skills that you could possibly want, and he's 20 if you wanted to match him up with Southgate or, or Arteta or a young under-24 manager. So when we go on here and we look at his stats, right, potentially if you wanted to just upgrade him normally and without spending, you know, just max him out and spend no real concern to where you're putting the points, just max him out until it becomes, you know, 5 plus, 6 plus that you need to put into the stats. This is what he could potentially look like. You could get him up to 87 speed or 82 acceleration. Um, and he'll also have ball winning 80 on that. So for a player that you're going to be getting, you might think, well, is it worth me actually training up this player? Why not just go out and buy somebody for 50, 60, or maybe 100 grand when GP starts becoming a little bit more available? So if we were to compare him here with uh, Militao from Real Madrid, you can see here that at their base levels, even at a level 73, you're going to have his speed be higher. And when we max out the two of these, obviously Militao isn't going to be the best uh, and fastest defender in the game. You know, there's a lot more defenders there that are faster than him. But if you look down here at his actual defense stats, right, and you go scrolling down here and your defending, your defending stats are there, they're not too far away. You can check that out yourself. Sorry that the video sped up a tiny bit there. 
Uh, next up, we have got Godfrey. So all eyes have been on Timber, right? Timber is kind of the shining light for a lot of people that are looking for a budget baller as a centre back. But this guy has pretty much identical stats. He's 23, so he still gets that same boost. He's 20,000. He's a little bit more expensive, but he looks to be unbelievable as well. Speed 76, aggression 70, defensive engagement 73. So if Timber becomes too popular and his price goes up, which I think will come in, I think he could be an excellent option to have just there that might surprise a couple of people as to how good he is. Same can be said about Diaz, who plays for River Plate. So Diaz is a guy, again, he's a smaller center back, but he's a bit of an enigma because, you know, he's a bit of a red herring because he's got like such aerial superiority. Like his heading is only 69, but he's got aerial superiority as a player skill. He's got fighting spirit. He's got heading as a player skill. He's only 178 cm. So most strikers that you're going to be coming up against are going to be as tall, if not taller than him. You know, even even like your average height um, attacker in the game that you're going to be using, kind of a mix between speed and strength. But he is worth the pump. And last but not least, I had to throw this guy in. So Sepp and Carrasco were both telling me about Mark Bartra. Now, I've played with Bartra before in Pez games in my club, I think like 2020 and 19. Um, and he was one of the most, you know, most sought after up and coming talents back in the day. But he retains a lot of his player skills and a lot of his player ID. And this guy is just, it's like having an attacking midfielder as your centre back compared to some of the other guys on this list. Look at his ball control, look at his heading, look at his tight possession and his low pass, his acceleration. Everything can be upgraded, of course, as well, as you can see here. But he is definitely worth a punt if you are looking to have somebody that can, you know, take the ball out and, you know, apply pressure on uh, players that like to push you up that you can actually play out from the back. So lads, that is it for another video, 8 overpowered cheap centre backs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you liked any of these or if you have any tips for me to check out and I can maybe do a review or two. Until next time, peace.